What is going on guys? We are back with another video today and of course you know what day it is. It's filler day. It's really not filler day but this is kind of a filler video but we all know about the whole Drew Brees thing. Super brutal injury and a lot of people have been talking about is Drew Brees even going to come back? He might be done. Is this the Peyton Manning injury for Drew Brees? I don't think it will be but you still can't ignore the fact that the Saints are going up against a division rival right now without Drew Brees. The Atlanta Falcons are a lot better than their record has shown. It's just their defense has not been capable of doing much. The problem is, for the Saints, you now have a completely different offense going out there. So, yes, this is probably the best case scenario, the best defense. It might be not the best defense you could play, but you know, one of the top five defenses you could play when you're trying to figure things out because of an injury. But it would not absolutely shock me to see the Falcons take this one and Saints fans start worrying big time. Now, with that being said, we have two quarterback options with a third secret one later on. Of course, we're going to go with Winston first because this is the guy that's not projected to start just yet, even though I am i don't know how he's not like the favorite considering Taysom is that you know, kind of like special package guy. I will say, though, unless they add another quarterback, you would almost have to assume Taysom Hill, they're pretty much going to cut him out of all the, you know, special package plays just because the lack of depth is there. So first things first, we are going to sim the remainder of the Saints season with Jameis Winston at the helm. Of course, uh, that division's tight. The NFC's kind of tight. If the Saints were to lose a bunch of games, they would miss the playoffs. I mean, it's not a guarantee that they continue with, you know, no Drew Brees, even though I think he was struggling. Well, I mean, he kind of got hot recently, but he was struggling for a while. Of course, you could see here, uh, they win the Falcons game, but then they lose three straights. Uh, I probably should have put Drew Brees back in because, you know, he would most likely be back in like right around week 15, week 16. But it didn't really matter too much because they, you know, they still won a bunch of games. They got to the playoffs. We're, of course, going to put in... You know what? We're going to keep it this way. We're going to do a, a, maybe a fourth sim and see what happens if Drew Brees... No, we're going to put Drew Brees in for the Taysom Hill one because... Actually, they probably won't even be the playoffs for Taysom Hill. I'm just going to be honest. <laughs> but looking at the stat line... Jameis Winston comes in, and he really doesn't do too much worse than Drew Brees. You look at the uh, the games, uh, downs played. Okay, Drew Brees clearly only nine downs. What a game. What a season, man. Nine downs played, 2,200 yards, 18 touchdowns, three picks. Jeez, people do disrespect this man. Of course, Jameis, 1849, 13 touchdowns, five interceptions. Looking at the time sacked, eight uh, rushing, uh, you know, might as well take a look and see what happens just to kind of compare, uh, the numbers, I suppose. Did Michael Thomas just like not come back or what, like, what's the story here? <laughs> just to compare the numbers just to see who had the most help from the other players around them. Uh, I don't really know much about the Saints, like actual full on stat line, but obviously since we went by, uh, awards do not matter. Since we went by, uh, uh, the, the thingy. Yeah, I, I can't think of the word right now. Wow, they lose to the Eagles. We'll take a look in a second. But since we went by real rosters, uh, they will have the accurate stats up to that point. Of course, like I said, we'll come back to that Eagles game. The Seahawks versus the Browns. Okay, I mean, may, I may, I, I don't know. And of course, the Browns do win. Let's take a look at that game against the Eagles. Of course, the Eagles. Probably are projected to win that division. Looking at the numbers, uh, Winston just got outperformed. Uh, just not a good game. Just simply put, just not a good game at all. Now, of course, you move on to the one that people are more excited about. Uh, maybe not. Eh, are Saints fans excited? Would I don't know if any Saints fans want to see Taysom more than Winston. Like Taysom, I guess, is kind of like a hero-ish over there. I don't know, dude. Who cares? <laughs> but of course, Taysom Hill, one that a lot of people will want to watch. I don't know about Saints fans or not. Let's see how he does. Will he be able to continue the season? I mean, 7-2. and two, I'd imagine if the Saints win at least three more games, they're probably going to take at least a wild card spot. So, at least three wins and you're in. And Taysom says, screw your three wins and in. We going all the way, baby. They lose to the Falcons and they win every other game. 
Let's take a look at Taysom. There's no way the meme is real, right? 13 touchdowns, the zero interceptions. What is going on? 1,735 yards, 13 touchdowns, zero interceptions. Kamara has a really good season. I mean, really good season. Uh, looking at the blocking, I mean, as far as blocking goes, it looks like Taysom had a worse time of it, and obviously he's faster than Jameis, so seems like he had worse blocks overall. Sack total seemed a little lower. Picks seemed higher, though. Lutz seemed slightly better. Uh, yearly awards. I mean, there's really not much to show there. Okay, in the wild card round, we will not see a game, so already automatically better than Jameis. Packers versus Saints. It's going to be a close one. This is a nice 50 50 battle. And they win over the Packers. Oh, this is a tough one going against the Buccaneers. They win against the Bucks. There's no way, right? I actually have to watch this. I have to go in because at the end of the day, if Taysom's on the freaking stage, like. What is even going on? Like, how? EA, why? Why do you do the way you do? Uh, makes them the third guy we have just, like, irrelevant and just dumb. I mean, there was already dumb. You'll see what I mean. All right, going to the end of the game. The Browns on top. And then, of course, Taysom and that offense coming back for a touchdown. So far, Taysom and that offense have yet to not score on a drive. Now I would assume they have. I don't know the math on it, but it seems like they would have missed that. Two-point conversion is good. And the Taysom Hill sled Saints win the Super Bowl. Drew Brees, system quarterback. <laughs> dome quarterback, to say the least. At least uh, that division. Very domey. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean here. But, yeah, a very cuddly, soft, cushiony division to play in weather-wise, you know. But, of course, it's a it's a bit of a tough one for actually winning the division. But we did do that because Taysom Hill is the GOAT. Do we have to trade for Taysom at some point? Like, what's what's the story? Do we, have to, do we have to start Taysom Hill in a rebuild? I know he's 30 years old, super late start, but, like, really? Like, Taysom's that guy? 316 yards, two touchdowns, zero picks, a massive 76.5 percentage of completions. I don't know if anyone's ever said a completion percentage has been massive considering it's just like accuracy. But, you know, once again, here we are with the confetti over the stadium, I believe, right? This isn't a dome. It doesn't look like a dome. Can't really tell. Nice. The Saints win with Taysom Hill. That's what I'm talking about, buddy. Look at him holding that trophy. Taysom Hill, the world champion of sports. Gotta love it. Two touchdowns, zero picks. Uh, 26 out of 34. I mean, just a really solid game. He ran a few, right? Okay, they didn't give him much, but yeah. Instead of giving, uh, you know, run, what is it called? Quarterbacks that scramble actual rushing attempts. I think it's just coded in the game for like Lamar and Kyler and Russell to just have good numbers. So you're going to just see unrealistic stuff from non-big uh, name guys anyways, which is hilarious. Uh, as far as Super, Super Bowl goes, I don't think Taysom would have got a dev up. Like, I think you need to play the whole season for that to happen. Uh, defensively, I would think Demario started with Star, and I think Malcolm started with Star again. So, a couple of dev ups there. I don't know why I care. I'm just like in rebuild mode for tomorrow, but <laughs> let's go on to the third one, I guess. Congratulations. Okay. All right, on to the final sim. The Saints get Trace McSorley. Of course, for this one... What the hell is wrong with his face? Kind of, wait, okay, I'm just making sure it wasn't like a face scan. He actually looked like that somehow. But <laughs> for this option, uh, someone in the Saints organization would have to, A, cure COVID. I think he... I don't know if he's on the reserve or on the COVID list, but they put him on there. So, uh, you know, there's one of uh, many steps. And they would also probably have to take someone in the Ravens organization hostage to get him because, of course, the trade deadline has passed. I wouldn't recommend that one, but, you know, I mean, you might as well try to cure COVID, right? It's not it's probably that hard, right? Clearly, it's super easy task. And headed to the playoffs. <laughs> what is this? Why are all the memes doing so well? I don't understand. I just do not understand. I mean, okay, sweet. I mean, we don't really need to put Drew Brees in to test it, like, do we? Look at this system. 
1,600 yards, 17 touchdowns, one interception, a 70% completion percentage. I'm sorry, Saints fans, but, I mean, Madden's never been wrong. Clearly, Drew Brees' entire career has been a lie. Clearly, that's the only explanation, obviously. Going against the Cowboys at 8-8, eight and eight, so they win the NF NFC East in this one. We win that game. Going against the Cardinals, Saints win here again. And are, are, we, are we for real? Are we really? Is that what we're doing today? EA, is that what we're just having that kind of day, huh? Okay. Sure, man. I ain't going to judge you. Going to the end of the game, Trace McSorley and the Saints in the Super Bowl. Jesus. Scripting much? <laughs> is this just proof of scripting, or are the Saints like that good and it doesn't matter who's at QB? Because, I mean, he's a 54 overall. Just, just so we are clear, he's a 54 overall going up against one of the league's greatest offensive talents. And, like, he's, he's, ooh. That's a bit of a yikes. Yeah, that's a bit of a loss. That's a, that's a bit of an unfortunate. All right, so uh, the Saints could not win it with Trace, but boom, three touchdowns. There you go. That's not true. Mahomes had three. Two for Trace, threw a pick. I mean, he went toe for toe, or toe to toe with Mahomes. Toe for toe sounds like a like a really sick revenge game. Uh, defensively, no, really, no one cares, honestly. But uh, I mean, okay, there's that. But hey, now we know. Uh, forget Drew Brees. Don't even think about Winston or this or that or even Drew Brees. It's it's the freaking Taysom Hill show. Just keep him in at starter even when Drew's healthy. It doesn't matter. Taysom Hill's going to bring in the Super Bowl. Uh, of course, I have no idea what's going to happen. I would assume they're going to scheme uh, things to obviously be simpler. Uh, of course, Taysom kind of knows the offense and all that. I just don't know if he has to play a full game if the Saints are going to be fine, to be honest. I just, like, there's one thing to, like, come in and make a sick throw or, you know, do this or that, but for the team to know you're the guy coming in, of course, I would say that they're going to they're gonna look at Jameis a little bit as well. I would say a decent bit of it, you know. If I was the Saints, hell, I would actually say, oh, yeah, Taysom's the starter, and then day one, you know, once the game starts, Jason, uh, Jason, Jameis Winston's the starter right out the gate. I, I do not know how that's not going to be the factor, but... Of course, probably see at least a couple of quarters as Taysom is the starter before they ultimately put Winston in. It wouldn't even surprise me. But looking at the next upcoming games, Falcons, like I said, two of the next three, they could take both of them. The Broncos, I would expect to win over the Broncos. The Eagles, they can sometimes show flashes, but I would not put my money on anyone from the NFC East. And then hopefully for the Saints, he may be back in time for that Chiefs game. But if I'm them, I, depending on what the uh, season's outlook looks like, if you know Drew Brees is actually indeed coming back like they say, I'd probably bring him back against the Vikings on Christmas Day. Is that when they're playing Christmas Day? Interesting. But yeah, uh, it should be a fun one at least. You know, regardless of if this video is relevant or not, Taysom Hill at starting quarterback is obviously going to be quite a fun matchup to watch. So uh, yeah, that's going to be fun. And of course. There will be another video out later today, Rams franchise, and then some sort of rebuild tomorrow. Not sure, and I almost wanted to say somebody won. I'm sorry. Regardless, thanks for watching. Uh, should be a stream on twitch.tv slash Jerome P. Care tonight. Washington playoffs. I know. Spoiler alert. No way. He's undefeated and, you know, near the end of the season, and he makes the playoffs. I'm not watching the series anymore. <laughs> Obviously, we knew we were making the playoffs already. Um, but playoffs, of course, hopefully I make it there because I messed up my sleep schedule again. Yay. Uh, I'm going to have to pull a 24 hour to pull all this off, which is fun. But yeah, regardless, thanks for watching. I hope you guys come back for next video, but until next video, see